Hello VC, I thought I'd make a very quick video just showing the records that have come in in the last couple of weeks. I think there's five or six records here. And so we'll just have a quick look at what they are. We'll start off with a record I've been trying to get for quite a while, finally arrived. And this is the first record by the new candy, Stars Reach the Abyss. Candy's first album and uh, when it came out I was not aware of the band and so once I became aware of the band I wanted that album and it was not showing up on Discogs or anywhere so I guess it was last Ju July I emailed the band and said will you be doing a repress of your albums and they got back to me pretty quickly and they said yes we will put your name on our mailing list and we'll let you know when the represses are available they said at that time that it would probably be in 2022. It turned out that they were uh, available probably early December or whatever it is that they got ma mailed out. So uh, that kind of allows me to have a, all the records that the New Candies have put out. I uh, now have their entire discography. This next one is put out by um, Fuzz Club. And I guess it's pronounced uh, C still. recent release from uh, Fuzz Club and I believe this is a, a band from Mexico although I'm not 100% sure. Now with this one um, if you've heard just heard the sound, sound sample um, the album is pretty consistent all the way through so it's like if you like one track you'll probably like them all. If you don't like a particular track you probably won't like any of them. It's a pretty consistent sound through the whole album so it's a, it's a matter of taste. It's I. I think if you listen carefully to the album, you'll appreciate it. It's, it's a pretty good album. This next one here, this is a bit of a strange one I came across and I had to have it. Uh, the Rabbit That Hunts Tigers. <laughs> to describe this album it's a little bit of everything it's a little bit psychedelic it's got a little bit of funk in it it's almost got like a little bit of spaghetti western in it at times very interesting album glad I picked it up it's uh, something that's certainly different this next album is one I've been trying to get for over half a year I ordered it through Amazon Canada for three months I kept getting emails from Amazon Canada saying they don't have it in stock, they're still trying. I tried to cancel the order, I could not. 
I eventually had to go through the service desk at Amazon to cancel the order and at that point I was able to reorder through um, an Amazon reseller as opposed to Amazon directly and even then it was the reseller was in the UK and it took uh, almost eight weeks for it to show up so from the time I initially ordered it on Amazon to the time I actually received it was about five to five and a half months and this is um, Bloop 25th anniversary Heaven's End <laughs> This next one here, can't pronounce the name of the band, not going to even try. I think the album is titled Lost Bones of the Holy Butterfly. The guitar album. camera that record may have um, appeared black but it's actually a very deep red translucent vinyl so that album again is just straight all sort of guitar music um, not not really stoner guitar but uh, sort of neil sight fun stuff guitar the last album for today is um sort of like a soundtrack to a computer game and it is the music is performed by Steve Wilson and it is the original soundtrack to the last day of June computer game The jacket itself is very heavy cardboard, but with a a uh, it's like a finish on it, a, a textured finish. Um, it's not plain cardboard out there. 180, 180 gram pressing, and the album came with a very heavy uh, outer sleeve as well. So great packaging. So of course this is a soundtrack to I think computer game, and I think it was the pressings are limited to four thousand. 
I'm not sure if I, uh, I think I saw a number online somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, I've got number 581. So, so this is an all instrumental. It's very quiet music, sort of music you would play in the background, perhaps. Um, if you're a Steve Wilson fan, perhaps you'd be interested in adding to your collection. Uh, good, good, good uh, record. So those are the records that I have come in in the last couple of weeks. I have a lot of records on order. Many of them are pre-order, so they're, they're actually not even pressed yet, and then will be in the next two or three months. And uh, a few are way behind schedule. They should have been mailed out last November, and they're still not pressed yet. I have a feeling things are really backing up at the pressing plants these days. So that's it for today. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.